just crossed the Arizona border into California. Right now we're driving south toward Mexico and we're car caravanning to one of the sites where this group will be dropping off water. They'll also be serving the area, see what type of foot traffic may have been um, crossing through here in the desert. The U.S. Border Patrol says hundreds of undocumented people die every year making the dangerous trek to the United States, crossing through some of the harshest terrain along the U.S.-Mexico border. We have uh, water, cans of food, and then we have some personal water for, for us. We have some hats for the sun. Grabbing as many bottles of water and canned food as he can carry on his back, Luis Osuna is about to hike through some of that same terrain that thousands of migrants have also passed through. More than anything to try and put these items, life-saving items, in people's way. Osuna is one of the volunteers with Border Kindness, a nonprofit group that helps asylum seekers, migrants and refugees. One way is by dropping gallons of water in the desert. A lot of it's just, you know, test drop sites and we'll We'll leave the supplies there and we'll come back in a little bit, you know, in, in like a month or two to kind of see if stuff's been taken. Water drop director James Cordero drove us to one of the routes he was tasked with for the day. Temperatures hitting 110, we began our short hike to a spot James had strategically mapped out as a good location to leave supplies. We know that this is, you know, somewhere people come through. Um, find another bottle right here. And only about five minutes into the trail, we started finding more clues. A backpack, articles of clothing. There's a hat right there. Uh, looks like maybe like a scarf. All signs confirming that at one point, someone crossed through this area. Where we're standing right now, the only ones that would be in this type of location are migrants crossing through, us and Border Patrol. Unlawful crossings by migrants along the U.S. southern border dropped for the fifth consecutive month in July. It's a decrease border officials are correlating to Biden's border policy signed June 4th, placing harsher restrictions on asylum seekers. We know that what we do works. You leave supplies out, people use them. They're not dying as much. Reporting in Yuma, Alexandra Rangel, Arizona's Family.